<clears throat> Sorry. Hi everybody and welcome to TWF Explosion. And today on Explosion we have the general manager of the TWF Women's Division, <clears throat> Lita here. Well today Lita says happens to be a good day or a bad day depending to who you are. Good day because Gil Kim and AJ Lee are going to have a chance to burst Charlotte Flair and Angelina Love in a tag team match. Bad day because first I'm going to have to address Divas Wrestling Entertainment or DWE or something. Kate or Caitlin or whatever you want to call yourself. That's up to you. Apparently you've all, apparently you've had problems with people. Well, first it was Gabrielle, apparently now it's with Belaska. So apparently now it's me. And yes, I have, I am, I've been aware of some time that you have been picking pie shots at me. Criticisms. Criticizing me for what my real life wrestler did during their time in World Wrestling Entertainment. Okay? And this whole story about, oh, I'm jealous because you don't have my action figure, either Jack Pacific or Mattel. I already disgusted that. You know, why would I be upset that you don't got my action figure? Actually, that pro actually I don't see why it would upset me. I guess uh, the store that you go to didn't carry them, I guess. Or you didn't want to buy them, whatever the it was your choice. So why would I be upset? Hey look, just the two just the one the two women I wanted to see. Yeah, Charlotte Flair says. So Lita, you are talking to Divas Wrestling Entertainment or D E or D W E when you really should have been worrying about us. Yeah, seriously, you're just jealous of what? I mean, what? Yeah, you're jealous Kate doesn't got your action figure. First off, why would I be upset that Kate doesn't got my action figure? You know, there's probably a bunch of Jack Pacific and Mattel WWE action figures made that not everybody has, you know. But I didn't come to talk about me and my problems with her. As far as I'm concerned, I've already addressed the issue with her. And anything she says or does on her own channel after that is all on her. Today, you two are teaming up. You're taking on Gil Kim and AJ Lee. Oh. I think that I'll just take out... I think that I'll take care of AJ Lee. Angelina Love says, and Charlotte Flair says, I think I'll take care of Gil Kim. Whatever you two choose to do is your own business. Well, we heard from the... Oh, God, no. That was a mistake. Okay, we heard from General Manager Lita of the TWF Women's Division. I mean, you know, we can't seem to find a referee now. That's, uh, that's just sad. Ah, there he is. Found him. There you go. And here comes Gil Kim and AJ Lee now. Referee, probably get in the middle. So, Charlotte Flair, you actually think you're God's gift to wrestling. Obviously, that's how you've been acting ever since you uh, started winning belts. Gil Kim says, NXT Women's Heavyweight Champion, WWE Divas Heavyweight Champion, WWE Women's Heavyweight Champion. You act like that because you were able to win three belts, you're better than everybody else. Hey, Angelina Love. It's a shame, ain't it? AJ Lee says when you have to be a henchman or a lackey or a fluky or a stooge to to her, knowing her track record. 
how she uses people, how she treats people. But anyway, here we go. Thinking the match got started. And it's going to be Gil Kim, you know, starting it off. Well, the referee just slides to fall down. It's going to be Gil Kim starting off with Charlotte Flair, who just knocks her down. And Charlotte Flair apparently believes she never came around and said it, storyline-wise, but I'm sure that her character believes she's God's gift to wrestling, or God's gift to women wrestling. And another clothesline. We all know there are a bunch of divas or knockouts or vixens, whatever you want to call them, or just plain women wrestlers or superstars that could claim the same argument. Wait a minute. Oh, Gil Kim came back with those clotheslines. And another one. And drop kick from the top rope. And down. Oh, Gil Kim coming in. She thinks she got everything under control here. Oh, what Gil Kim does right now. And Charlotte Flair does what anybody would do. Runs and tags in her partner. And we all know that Gil Kim and Angelina Love are no strangers to each other. Both of them have faced off multiple times in TNA. And both of them have all, have at least won the TNA Knockouts Heavyweight Championship multiple times. Oh. And Gil Kim right now wants to make eat the feet on Angelina Love. And now she tags in AJ Lee who have not been seen in a long time, folks. Oh! Angelina wants to keep this up here. Oh, and Angelina Love just took her down. Yes, Angelina Love, very accomplished TNA knockout, multi-time TNA knockout heavyweight champion. And once upon a time, she was the leader of the beautiful people stable. Oh, or fraction. Oh, knocked down. Ah, uh, Charlotte, I got everything under control. Here it comes. The Black Widow. The Black Widow. Angelina Love taps out here. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Here are your winners, the team of Gil Kim and A.J. Lee. And Gil Kim and A.J. Lee have defeated the team of Charlotte Flair and Angelina Love here on Explosion. Now we all know that Gil Kim and A.J. Lee are not friends, they've never been friends, but they do have common enemies. And common enemies tend to make allies out of people who are normally enemies themselves. Uh, at least that's how it seems to be. Sorry for that burp. Hope you enjoyed TWF Explosion and we'll see you tomorrow for TWF Empt.